What's up everybody? Welcome to the 5150 Gringo Garage and today I gotta change the O2 sensor on this herd Crossler 300. All right. Let's show you what I got here. We'll put our key in the ignition three times. We got the old PO13C. That means O2 sensor, uh, bank two, sensor two is no good. So I gotta run to the auto parts store and pick me up one. But first, I'm gonna take this one out so I could go uh, match it up when I get there and make sure I get the right one. All right, another way you can check it. We're gonna go ahead and go over to the old torque app. Okay, it's connecting. So, you can see the RPMs kick in. There we go. Okay, so we're good. For O2 sensors right here. So, my code is for O2 sensor, um, bank two, sensor two, which is this one right where my thumb's at. All right. I'm not sure about the, the volts it's supposed to put out, but it's not nowhere near like the other ones. I'll have to look up the specs on it, but I think that .1 is out of range. So we're gonna go ahead and switch that old sensor out. And you can do your fault codes right here. There it is. PO 13C. So you got O2 sensor. This is bank one, bank two. Sensor one is in front of the catalytic converter on each side. And then sensor two is gonna be down under. Right there. So here's the catalytic converter. There it is. So first things first, you gotta clip. Right over here, you gotta follow it. Pull off the sensor, see? So they do make O2 sensor wrenches for these that go around, fit over the, the little nut here, but because this one's gonna be so easy to use with just a wrench. I'm just gonna fit it on there. Just like that. Tap it. And there you have it. This is gonna be on my next video. I'm gonna fix this. All right, so we made it back from the parts store and we found this one for $38.99. This is, let's get you a number here, the NTK oxygen sensor, part number 23185. As you can see, they uh, match up here. So they've got the same length, same thread. Come over to the plugins. Same looking plug, let's flip around here too. Same plugs, and this one has a cap, and if you take it off, I don't know if you can see it, but it's got anti-seize already on it. I picked up some anti-seize just in case. You wanna put these on the threads, um, because your exhaust pipe gets hot and cold and it's got moisture in it and everything else, you don't want it to get all rusted on there, so next time you take it off, it makes it real easy. So I'm gonna go ahead, put this bad boy on. All right, take that off. I'll go ahead and scoot it right into the old bung hole here. Make sure you thread it by hand because you don't want to cross thread it. So we're finger tight. So now we do a half turn to three quarters of a turn. So we're gonna go ahead and do a half turn here. Get it nice and snug. All right. Here we go. Do a half. We'll do a quarter. 
quarter turn feels pretty tight. I'm leaving it at a quarter turn. So it's only supposed to be about 33 foot pounds. So now we're gonna go ahead. We're going to get this here. So this has a little hook up here. We can hook that just like that. We got our little pluggy do. Snap right in. Like I said, we got this little hook. Let's go ahead and feed the hook right up there. Okay. It's just this little hook. It holds the the line. And we are all snapped in here, as you can see. That's it. That's how you change the O2 sensor on a 2007 Chrysler 300. It wasn't hard. Uh, anybody could do it. I would give this. Uh, a level one in difficulty. It was really easy. Um, so o if, if you're O2 sensor number two, whether it's bank one or bank two, real easy. That's the ones that are downstream uh, at the after the catalytic converter. So yeah, let me go fire up the, the OBD scanner and see how my uh, voltage is reading. And uh, yeah, let's go check it out. But look at that. We're still 0 0.8, 0 0.8 at our uh, downstream or upstream both here. They're fluctuating like normal, so staying pretty consistent. So anyways, I hope you all have a great day. I hope this video helped you. Remember to like this video, subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you on the next video.